Okay, one thing we have to talk about, okay? All of the stolen artwork and artifacts that came out of Africa. And how did 90% of all of the Africa's artworks and these um, artifacts ended up in, a, in museums in Europe, scattered all over Europe? What the hell happened, right? Well, in 1885, they had a conference in Berlin to discuss the future of Africa. No African representatives were invited on that day. Instead, they decided amongst themselves on how they were gonna divide uh, Africa. They literally took out a map and drew some lines on it and divided it up. This was known as the scramble of Africa. These colonizers ain't waste no time on taking uh, things out of Africa. You can see in this illustration right here, this was in 1874. Another image that really, really, really ticks me off is this one right here. This is in Nigeria, okay? These British troops came in there and they totally demolished the city. They burnt it down to the ground and they stole all of these artifacts, took them, packed them up and carried them all the way back to Europe. So as you can see, they were very proud of their accomplishments for coming into somebody else's territory, taking all of their art, all of their uh, history, bagging it up and taking it to a foreign land. Imagine that, right? So now you can go to any French museum, any British museum, any German mu museum and find these lovely African artifacts that were taken from Africa. Now, if this don't give you some killmonger vibes, I don't know what else will. I mean, they need to take this shit and return it back. Here's another beautiful piece right here. Look at the detail of all of these uh, pieces right here. Um, at the time when these were made, Europe didn't have anything to match up against. So that's what they did. If you don't have any uh, legacy or any civilization of your own, you tend to steal it from other people. Like, follow, and share.